The Crystal Cruiser's brand is now back at sea. Two ships, the Crystal Serenity and the Crystal Symphony, are now sailing once again. But this is a line that started back in 1988, and for much of its history, it was renowned as being a leader in the global luxury cruising market. So what happened to Crystal Cruises? Why did it collapse, and how come it got an unlikely saviour at the 11th hour? Stick around to find out more. If you don't know who I am, or if you're new here, my name is Chris Frame, and I'm a maritime history author and lecturer. I speak on board cruise ships and at maritime museums around the world. If you're interested in cruising, cruise ships, or maritime history, I think you're going to like it here. Crystal Cruises was established all the way back in 1988 as a subsidiary of NYK, a Japanese brand. NYK set about building two ships at about the same time, the Crystal Harmony for the Crystal Cruises brand and the Asuka for the NYK brand, and both of these ships were built at the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries yards in Japan. Both ships had a very similar exterior profile, although the Crystal Harmony was significantly larger than the Asuka. They both had a highly raked bow, terracing on their aft decks, lots of balcony cabins, and a funnel design that reminds me quite a lot of the QE2s, or the style that was used on the Royal Viking Sisters. While Asuka went on to sail for NYK in the domestic Japanese market, the Crystal Harmony was used to establish the Crystal Cruises brand. She set sail in 1990 and immediately attracted attention when she caught fire on her maiden voyage. Now, despite this difficult start, the ship was ultimately repaired, and after her first voyages, she became popular with Crystal Cruises passengers and attracted a loyal following. The 51,142 gross ton ship had a high percentage of balcony cabins, meaning there was a high percentage of luxury accommodation on board the ship. She also had a number of amenities that made her stand out, and her size meant that she was considered quite a large ship for the time amongst the luxury cruise market. The popularity of Crystal Harmony led Crystal Cruises to develop a second ship, the Crystal Symphony, which entered service in 1995. This ship was built at the Kavenia Massey Yards in Finland, and sported a very similar external profile to the Crystal Harmony with the raked bow, terraced stern, and a very similar funnel design. These two ships worked in tandem to grow the Crystal Cruises brand to become one of the most beloved and popular luxury cruising brands in the market. Both ships were kept in top condition due to a number of refits, and the Crystal Symphony even served as a hotel ship at the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. Additionally, the company was so confident in their design that they commissioned a third larger ship at over 68,000 gross tons, the Crystal Serenity. Crystal Serenity was built at La Chantier de l'Atlantique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire in France. Several years later, in 2006, the Crystal Cruises brand retired the Crystal Harmony. In fact, it was moved across the parent company, NYK, to become Asuka II after the smaller Asuka had been sold to German interests. Crystal Harmony, under her new name, would sell exclusively in the Japanese cruise market. And despite Crystal Cruises being reduced to just two ships once again, the brand strengthened, with many, many loyal followers coming back to the Crystal ships time and time again. The exclusivity of the Crystal offering was bolstered in 2011 with the introduction of a Boeing jet named Crystal Sky. This aeroplane was used to fly high-end passengers to and from the ships. In 2015, NYK sold the Crystal Cruises brand to Genting Cruise Line. Genting was expanding its offering, already having established brands such as Star Cruises and Dream Cruises in their stable. They saw Crystal Cruises as a way to get into the luxury cruise market. The company grew in size with the introduction of luxury yachts such as the Crystal Esprit and the commitment to the Crystal Endeavour, which was ultimately built during the global cruise shutdown. The company also invested in a number of river cruising vessels and established themselves in the river cruising market. Also during this period, the company made the headline-grabbing announcement that it would acquire the SS United States, a former ocean liner laid up in Philadelphia. The plan was to renovate the ship and put it into service as a luxury ocean liner, but these plans fell through and nothing was ever done with the SS United States, which remains in Philadelphia to this day. In 2020, Crystal Cruises was impacted heavily by the global cruise shutdown. Like all cruise lines around the world, from March of that year, the ships were emptied of passengers and put into a state of warm layout. Crystal Cruises did anticipate to resume cruising in 2021. Crystal attempted to restart operations in 2021, even registering its biggest day of sales in March 2021 when planned cruising to the Bahamas went on sale. 
However, the financial situation at its owner, Genting, was deteriorating. In early 2022, Genting collapsed, leaving its three cruise brands in turmoil. Crystal Cruises' two ships, Serenity and Symphony, were subsequently arrested in the Bahamas and placed under the management of V-ships until a solution could be found. At the same time, Star Cruises and Dream Cruises also folded. Loyalists of Crystal Cruises were devastated as it looked as if this much-loved brand had been lost forever. However, this level of loyalty actually created an opportunity for the brand's revival. A saviour came in 2022 when ANK Travel Group acquired Crystal Cruises and its two ocean-going cruise ships. Both ships were given extensive refurbishments in Italy, while the new owners set about rebuilding the Crystal brand with a new management structure. To the joy of loyalists around the world, Crystal resumed cruising in mid-2023. Crystal Serenity set sail on 31st July 2023, while Crystal Symphony set sail a few months later. Both ships are now back at sea, and you may be wondering what happened to Crystal Harmony, for well, she remains with NYK as a Suka 2 to this day and has also resumed cruising. Have you travelled on board the Crystal Cruises fleet either before or after the pandemic? What did you think of them? Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you on board. The brand flourished and became even more popular with loyal princess. Loyal princess. The brand flourished and became even more popular with loyal Crystal Cruises, who I don't know what I'm saying.